Well, property values could be going up way up, especially in Jackson County, where officials estimate a 30% increase. As KSHP 41's Bryant Magic reports, a bill in Jeff City could provide relief to one group of homeowners. Oh, I always sit. Before, before I open up my tax bill. Janie Flynn is bracing herself with the average property value expected to go up 30% in Jackson County. The longtime resident knows she'll pay more. You have to find a way to do it. You have to find a way to pay it. And fortunately, every once in a while I can dip into something for things like that, but I try not to. Flynn volunteers at the Kansas City Shepherd Center. The nonprofit serves older adults. Executive Director Janet Baker says a lot of those people already are feeling squeezed. They are being priced out of their own home. And right now that is a crisis because we don't have enough services for older adults. Some help could be coming from Jefferson City. State Senator Tony Luchtemeyer is backing a measure that would freeze property taxes on a primary residence for seniors 65 and older. I mean, this is a huge concern for people all around the Kansas City metro area. We've seen huge increases in property tax assessments in Jackson County. Uh, a couple of years ago, we saw huge increases in Platte County as well. I sat down with Jackson County's assessor. She calls the relief a homestead exemption, something she supports. There are many, many states that have it. Um, and I think this would be great for us. But it's hard to find anyone who thinks an increase in property values is great. So why is it happening? Gal McCann Beatty explains the COVID-19 pandemic is a big reason why. In a COVID world where you had a shortage of homes for sale and a huge demand for them, it caused prices to skyrocket. Those prices have Flynn worried for her friends. And I don't know what people do that don't have anything that they can just dip into. There's no dipping because there's nothing there. Right now, Luke Meyer's bill has already passed the Senate and it's being considered in the House. If passed, he says that his bill could go into effect by August 28th. In Kansas City, I'm Bryant Madrick, KSHB 41 News.